Hello guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Jesper Offersen and uh, today we are going to talk about a cleanser. We are going to talk about uh, the cleanser from uh, Cetaphil and it uh, looks like uh, this. And uh, they say it is for uh, oily skin. So it is an oily skin cleanser. Now, already when you read something like that, you can almost feel your skin drying out completely. And it, it takes you back to your teenage uh, time when the uh, skin was always a little bit tight because uh, you was always uh, trying something that was uh, really uh, rough on the skin. So uh, is uh, Cetaphil uh, the uh, exception? Have they made a product that is really good for oily skin and which uh, leaves uh, the skin very uh, nice and soft and uh, non-dried out? Well, uh, it says uh, it removes excess oil without drying. It is a, a gentle foaming action and uh, then it is uh, soap free. So it kind of like, it, it all sounds really good. Uh, but uh, is it uh, the truth? Well, uh, if we uh, look at the back, uh, we will see there are some, um, some will say a little bit of some uh, controversial uh, ingredients in it. There is something called uh, sodium laureate sulfate, and uh, that is uh, a more gentle uh, surfactant than the, the more famous one, perhaps, which is uh, very controversial, and that is uh, sodium laurel uh, sulfate, and that is uh, really uh, drying. It, it has a reputation of uh, destroying your um, skin barrier, so uh, the moisture barrier, so that's not good. So what they have used here is a uh, a more a mild uh, version of that stuff uh, but still it does dry out the skin maybe not as much as uh, the parent one but uh, it does uh, dry out uh, the skin there's no doubt about that and uh, then there is something else here uh, which is a uh, sodium laurel sarcosinate and that is um, it comes from a uh, sarcosine and uh, what they are using it as here is a, a surfactant and that is uh, supposed to be a, a gentle uh, surfactant uh, as well so so they have kind of like tried to put in some uh, gentle um, surfactants, but are they uh, gentle enough? Well, that is obviously uh, the question here. Um, if we look uh, further uh, into uh, the ingredients list, then we can see there is uh, something called sodium laureate. And uh, sodium uh, laureate, uh, that is a salt of a... Um, uh, fatty acid and uh, fatty uh, salt of fatty acids, they are classified as... Uh, soaps. So uh, when we see that ingredient uh, at the back, which tells us is it's a soap, uh, and we see on the front it says down here that it is a soap free, um, it makes me question what what's, what's going on. So uh, I was a little bit uh, reluctant to try this uh, one here, but um, I did try it uh, the other day and uh, Sure, right. Uh, after I had uh, tried it, the first thing I noticed was that uh, my skin uh, was very squeaky clean, and also it was, um, and that's not a good thing. Uh, and then uh, it kind of like uh, your skin starts to become smaller and smaller, uh, and you feel that th this is this is just not good. It really takes you back to uh, the teenage years where you were trying all sort of uh, remedies in order to get rid of uh, just a. Uh, the minus the pimples uh, on your face. So uh, is it something I will try again? Definitely not. Um, there is this idea that if you have uh, oily skin, then you need something really strong to get rid of that oil. Um, that is not the case because if you're using something very strong uh, on your skin, then you are making uh, your skin produce even more oil because it constantly tries to compensate for uh, a moisture barrier that is not uh, working as it uh, should. So uh, what should you do instead? Well, uh, I would say that uh, use something much more uh, gentle and some that could be something like a uh, Nemisilla uh, facial gel wash from a uh, simple. I uh, use that uh, on my Hair, so I use it on my scalp. Uh, I don't use it on my face as such because uh, generally uh, I just use uh, a microfiber cloth and, and water. And if I have a makeup on, uh, I will use uh, something like um, a mineral oil, like this one from Johnson & Johnson. And then I will just uh, go in and splash it all over the face and rub it in. And then I will take some uh, paper, uh, paper towel, and then uh, take the worst of it off 
in a gentle way and then I will go in with the uh, the microfiber cloth and water. I will never use a something like it, this. It just keeps the vicious circle going that the skin is producing more and more uh, oil to compensate uh, in order to try to keep moisture in the skin and uh, therefore something like this which is uh, much more uh, gentle that is uh, the way to go and then I would uh, say that you should see some of my uh, my video about uh, lactic acid, uh, the serum I make with uh, lactic acid because that will stimulate your skin to produce more ceramides and you would like to have more ceramides instead of a lot of uh, sebum but unfortunately when you are using something like that or this then uh, you are not producing more uh, ceramides you are producing more uh, sebum and that makes uh, your skin look really really uh, greasy and that is obviously what you don't want so use something very uh, gentle uh, instead and then if you can if you don't have any sort of a makeup on I would just uh, go in with the microfiber cloth and lukewarm uh, water um, and don't be afraid that you are not cleaning your face thoroughly because there is such a thing as clean your skin too much and that will make your skin um, break out and that is obviously what you don't want and that is why you in the beginning uh, use something uh, like this. So uh, yes if you are a teenager you will have some pimples yes you just don't want uh, a lot of them and uh, if you are using something like this then I'm pretty sure that you will uh, gradually get more pimples than you would like and what is more um, you will have a little bit when you are a teenager obviously you will because the hormones are making havoc in your body uh, but uh, you need to use uh, something much more simple like a uh, microfiber cloth like this one here and then just a uh, lukewarm water and then uh, moisturize your skin don't dry it out it's all about moisture moisture and uh, moisture and uh, gentleness so uh, can i recommend this product Obviously, I can't. Uh, can I recommend something else? Yes, I would recommend using uh, this one uh, instead if you want something that is um, foamy because it does uh, foam a little bit, uh, but it has no uh, sort of a harsh uh, chemicals uh, in it as such. There are surfactants in this one here, and that is what will make it foam a little bit. Uh, but as such, it is uh, not um, designed to be very uh, foamy. So uh, yes, uh, this was uh, my verdict uh, on the, this uh, product here. I can uh, certainly not uh, recommend it. So yeah, those were the words. Uh, if you'd like to see more of this sort of videos, please subscribe, hit the bell, and do all those things. You must do in order to be notified when I upload more of this sort of uh, videos. Thank you for watching. See you. Bye.